So does the NFL put too much stock into running a fast 40-yard dash time? So with a 40-yard dash, that just measures the speed of the athlete. Okay? Yeah, that's it. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in to the Shut Up Already podcast, where we discuss everything related to sports. It's your boy, K. And it's your boy, P. Feeve, a.k.a. Mr. Nobody. And at this time, I would like to thank King Neppy for all the fresh wear. Now, let's transition into this. No other skill involved, just 40 yard jazz. Just measuring how fast you can run. So is this just for receivers or everyone included? I mean, it's it's they they even um get the lineman to run a forty, which I don't really understand because how fast does a lineman really have to be when if you watch football, they pretty much stay in the same spot most of the time. Now I understand running backs and receivers, I get it. Um, some defensive safeties, whatever, to intercept the ball. But as far as everybody, I would think that it would be more specific. But the weight that's thrust upon that, um, I'm just trying to understand. Uh, it has nothing to do with football IQ. It's just speed. Yeah, or, I mean, I guess their thought is, and let's say like if you had a receiver that was just ungodly fast, that he can just take the top off of coverage or he can just straight outrun a cornerback, which I guess they figure if he's faster, then he might get open. But at the same time, I, I just feel that they, they emphasize it too much. Yeah, but if he doesn't have any football IQ, no matter how fast he's going, he might get stuck, and that's going to slow him down. That, that's my point. That, that's why I I really feel that they emphasize it too much. I get it. It's a measuring stick. It's a way that you can measure players and you can say, okay, this guy's fast, this guy's slow. But at the end of the day, just because you can run a ungodly time in the 40 doesn't automatically mean that you're a superstar athlete. No, I mean, there's a lot of other factors into that. So, you know, it's, yeah, on that one, I mean, speed is speed, but speed is speed. Speed isn't IQ. Speed isn't agility. Speed isn't a lot of things. It's just speed to speed. And that's that's really all I got my take on that. All right, kids. So I'm, I'm going to give y'all a little history lesson real quick so y'all can understand that uh, don't dis- get discouraged out there when you don't run a, a 4-2-40. So there's a guy right now in the NFL by the name of John Ross. He plays for the Cincinnati Bengals. A couple of years ago, he ran a 4-2-40, which is an ungodly time. I think that's probably the fastest the 40s ever been ran. Um, Have we heard anything from John Ross, have, have you even heard? You probably don't even know who that is, do you? Do not know who exactly. he is. So, I mean, he ran a four two forty, but since he's been in the NFL, he hasn't really done a whole lot. But then you got a guy like Jerry Rice, which many would consider to be the best wide receiver to ever play football. When he ran a 40, he ran, a lot of people say he ran a 4-7, but then there's others that say he didn't run quite that slow. But basically the point is, Jerry Rice didn't run a fast 40-yard dash time but yet he's considered to be one of the best football players to ever play the game. So obviously, speed didn't matter, right? Speed didn't matter. And obviously, Jerry Rice was getting open. All the catches, he got all the touchdowns he made. He wasn't blowing past people. Football IQ, agility, you know, and footwork. I mean, his route running was off the charts. Yeah. So... I don't know. Speed ain't everything. There you go. There you have it. 